What's up, YouTube? You know what it is, man. We're back here with another one. Yes, sir. E yes, sir. You know what it is, man. We back. Yeah, man. It's your boy, King James. And you know what it is, man. We're back with another episode of Traveling with Jay, man. You know what it is. Let's get to it. So today I want to talk about a topic I've been waiting to talk about, but like I haven't gotten around to it. But this time I got time today. We're going to talk about Shane Eagle dropping his album Akira, which he dropped like two months ago, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, like November, yeah. November or December, somewhere there. I think he dropped it on the 10th of December. To be accurate but yeah when he dropped this album uh, i was highly anticipating it especially because he's the last of the big three who's who was gonna drop in 2023 like nasty c and aries dropped but he was the last one who was gonna drop in that big three you know what i mean that we consider the big three you feel me and yeah his album was really disappointing now don't get me wrong, it might have did well, did well in sales, in terms of Shane Eagle, but like, in terms of reception, yeah man, that album did nothing, and listening experience, it was, it was horrible, it was horrible, I couldn't wait to finish that album, and that album is only 14 tracks long, bro, I've never felt so, like, forced to listen to a, 14 track album like it it felt long which it wasn't i think the album's like 47 minutes if i'm not like bro this album felt like it was an hour and 50 minutes that's what it felt like i couldn't wait to finish the album because it was just going nowhere man i mean i did not feel my palate i did not feel like shane eagle was into making this album yeah there's a lot of introspective cuts in the album for sure that that is true but like when it comes to the listening experience of those type of music here yeah, it just sounds corny boring uninspired and like genuinely like all over the place i mean when, like like the song healing that song is supposed to be like one of his introspective songs on the album where he's like expressing his deeper thoughts and how he feels and the scars he had to bear going through this journey but then you do get there but in a manner way it's like you don't really feel he, like him expressing this you know what I mean it feels like he's just saying it you know what I mean like oh I went through this I went through that but like it's not like oh I learned this from that you know what I mean it doesn't feel like that it just feels like yeah it's just what I went through I'm a human being like all of you you know what I mean and that's a great thing to push in an album but like at the same time uh, no one really wants to hear it like blandly put put together like it it's empty bro you know what I mean we all go through experiences and when you put it like in a way where it's like it's an everyday talk thing type thing when you're like talking to your friends it's not gonna hit as much as it could have if you like put some more you know what I mean like some more energy or like questions or whatever like something that's just gonna broaden that horizon of what you're talking about instead of just limit it, limiting it to yeah you know i mean oh i had scars now i'm healing yeah you know i mean uh, and the other song i had a problem with uh, i don't remember this song what was the name of this song i think it's uh, i forgot the name of this song it's the fourth song of the album though i definitely sure I know that part that it's the fourth song of the album. I plainly wanted to skip that song. That beat is horrible. I think I think I mentioned it in my previous video of the worst songs in 2023. Yeah, I put it in there. 
and yeah it deserved it to be there because that song was trash it was garbage i don't understand what he was doing there this is not a review so i'm not gonna go in depth on all these songs on the album it's just i'm just expressing how disappointing the album was to me i've been and not only me many other fans who are fans of shane eagle not just people who came through this album nah like original core fans of shane, shane eagle they all know that this guy flopped with this album this this was not a good album like it felt really corny and he was really arrogant for no reason on this album like i get confidence but like on this cut he was really arrogant there was a line where he said like if you don't like fuck with shane eagle music then you you your, yeah like your music takes sucks like you you shouldn't be listening to music he said it in that matter not in those words specifically but like he said it in that manner and that that turned me off it made me question like yo bro you really think your pen is that godly that i have to forcibly like you just because you got skills like that doesn't matter there's a lot of people who got skill that they ain't being listened to like king loss yeah you know i mean the american rapper king loss who listens to king loss you know i mean he got amazing skill amazing talent amazing freestyle capability amazing lyricism but just because i don't like his music does that mean my music taste sucks no i mean it just means that yo i got a different taste in music i might not like lyricism i might not like you know what i mean and i'm not saying that's the case but all i'm saying is man uh you just gotta consider all aspects of everything you talk about in your albums you know what i mean so if you're gonna talk about like mm, being the best you gotta prove why you the best speaking on that he was flamed on twitter for saying that he's the best african rapper on the continent and he got absolutely flamed in the comments and let's check these comments out man like the top comment we got here is young marathon trust he has that shame with the cat emoji laughing and my burner account says your your music your music sound sucks don't know what bro was saying earl sweetheart says uh, love your work but no just know you ain't beast enough to make such claims man oh my god you were my day but magic's still one of my favorite that dropped this year though easy and these other comments like mr said bro chill with the laughing emojis last number said don't be the lulu you have to work very hard for that title your body of work has to be on that of beyonce's level mara yours is on dwarfism it's too short you don't have enough content to be the best anyway <laughs> sean don says stop taking drugs <laughs> bro they flaming bro in the comments right here and we got other comments here they like oh big wob is like nah you flopped <laughs> tukulu says they slept on dark moon flower though but that's not the topic and the snowman says man i fuck with you bro but you need to chill my dog you ain't in the topic yet that j cole wave ain't go stick on no working man work my dog just write and create good music like all the african artists are doing and i, I agree with that tweet right there this man is too busy doing cheeky covers and all this stuff to even care yeah you know I me mean, about making a body of work that that is nice and enjoyable bro because this this was not it man and i know sean is more shane i mean is more of the lyrical type rapper type stuff yeah i mean so i should have expected more uh, introspective cuts and all of that but like 
not in a way where they done so corny dog this this was corny like i thought jack hollow was corny on his album uh the jackman album but this tops it way way more than that bro like way more than that like at least jackman was corny on a few songs like maybe two three songs out of ten songs like eight songs are enjoyable there like gang 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 is like my least favorite because that story is going nowhere yeah you know i mean and what's the other song uh no 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 enhancements yeah that was the other song i don't like but like the rest is amazing now back to this one like shane only gave me like two tracks i like and the other track is i don't even like it like that like it's ali and kryptonite yeah i mean kryptonite he had menacing flows the delivery was on par he did not waste that jalul beat bro like that, that he murdered that ish bro i wish more songs on this album had that album considering the fact that he used the title name akira yeah me usually that that title name is associated with like great stuff and he named it after one of the biggest manga writers in the world right now ever since manga has started in fact i mean like akira Tor- toriyama who made dragon ball yeah i mean he's he's finding this project akin to that like yeah i, I think I, I i might see where he's going with that but like it, it feels like he took the bad side of toriyama dog with lazy writing and stories that are not cohesive you feel me yeah toriyama is also known for that so he might have taken in that side from toriyama but like uh the rest i don't see man this is not a legendary project dragon ball z is legendary uh, he did that old uh, monkey farm thing on his album art where it's like a black shadow and he's like the m- monkey from dragon ball and uh, yeah i don't know what to say about that but like <sighs> this album was disappointing hella hella disappointing i just wish he took more time with this album had to listen to it feels like he didn't even listen to this album before putting it out because it sounds all over the place dog uh he did not put together this album really good dog he did not at all i I wish he took more time uh i wish he didn't rush it i wish he used a different title because he he might have just ruined everything that has to do with akira to me but like there's it's not only akira toriyama who's got that name there's an anime series that is titled akira it's about a demon child with a twin brother who turns like evil you know what i mean so like uh there's also another uh i think a uh, what is it uh cry baby devil man cry cry baby yeah also has a main character called akira you know what i mean so like he's running there for me because like the word akira is, is are related to like demons yeah you know i mean so like i'm thinking this man should not be on demon time you know what i mean on let dark food dark moon flower type timing but none of that showed up in this album and yeah really disappointing performance from shane wish he could have done more wish he could have like laid back on the introspective parts of like this album particularly because the title is not that bro when you say like akira akira we're not expecting expecting like mostly introspective cuts i want like hard stuff like where you rapping rapping you know what i mean hard hard shit bring that hard stuff bro 
but like you couldn't do that bro i had to wait like for five songs for the album to get uh somewhat good to me you know what i mean waiting five like going five songs in and one of those songs being five minutes long and still not feeling like yo i've gotten into this album this album is good it, that that for me just kills it all bro and that's the end of this video and yeah let me know what you think about it in the comments like comment and subscribe you know what it is support king james and yeah man turn on that notification bell and i'm out this be